Thanks for joining us as we continue our adventure with the live streaming capability of the Ricoh Theta 360-degree camera. This video series is going to concentrate on the Z1 using more standard software, but just to let you know, we did build this mobile app as a demo to show the live streaming capability of the SC2 over Wi-Fi. This is using Motion JPEG. Um, what it is, is this is a, I have my laptop that's just playing a video loop here. So you can see how the motion is. And I just have it on a desk in my home office uh, for the test of the uh, SE2 live preview. So you, can, you could get it to work um, for certain uses, potentially surveillance. But again, you're probably gonna have to get your own software or write your own software to use it. To test the uh, SE2 streaming, I did build a robot and I put the SE2 on the robot and I can actually use the robot from the stream of the uh, SE2. Although, you know, there was some issues with latency uh, in this demo. In general, it was fairly usable not to control the robot, but to check out the scene, you would need another way to navigate with the robot if you took this approach. Again, we're not gonna focus it focus on the SC2 for most of this video series. So now you wanna see the stream. I have the Theta Z1 connected in live streaming mode. This is OBS. So from OBS, normally you select a video capture device. Um, this is how you do it with your normal webcam connected to your computer. So you select, uh, this is the webcam, it's not the Z1. So you select the the video capture device and oh look there's Rico Theta Z1 here but when you select it it's completely blank uh, there's no way on Windows at least that you're gonna be able to get it to appear here let's fix that problem right now if you're using a Mac uh, it, it may appear um, it, it should appear and you're off and running but you're gonna need to download a piece of software for Windows 10 let's do it go to theta360.com and then under um, downloads, okay, scroll all the way down. And then now Rico recently uh, published a driver. Okay, so the, the first one is Windows, the second one is Linux. Uh, we're gonna do it on Windows right now. So select, this is actually the same software for Z1 and V. You have to be running Windows 10 version 1703 or later there's only 64-bit os so let's grab it and then run it install it finish it actually i, I didn't need to reboot the computer i tried it uh, so double click on it so i had it at z1 Rico theta z1 this is a little deceptive right because you think oh this is going to work it's not going to work you select Rico Theta Z V Z1 4K. If you want 4K, and boom, it, it suddenly starts working here. Maybe fit to screen, looking a little bit better. And from here, you can set up the the stream to push it up to YouTube. So at this point, the it's pretty usable, right? So the, the latency is actually pr pr pretty good at this point. So let's compare it to my uh, Logitech webcam. Uh, with this type of setup, you could uh, obviously use two uh, webcams and you know have one be the, the scene here for the 360, and then you could have other things to control the stream when you push it up. Thanks for joining us on this setup video for the Z1. You need the Windows 10 driver. Uh, I'm going to slot this video into this playlist. Uh, there's another video here that my colleague created that will tell you how to stream it to uh, YouTube if that's what you want to do. You can use the same technique for Facebook. It's just the server URL is different. All the RTMP servers are the same. So you could use this next video to stream it to uh, any uh, RTMP server. Subscribe to the channel so you can get some updates on future videos. We'll be exploring live streaming 
from the plugin direct from the camera to various systems. For example, this wireless live streaming plugin can stream direct to YouTube and Facebook direct from the camera. Uh, there's some other great plugins here from the community like this Theta RTSP streaming plugin which you can use to stream on a network direct to VLC going right over Wi-Fi or Ethernet with to a specific IP address. It's, it's really fun to use this. Also plan to give an update on the Emilia Viewer setup. This is Emilia Viewer by Jake Cannon. I didn't write this one, but we do have some binaries here, which I'll update for the future video to get it to run directly. Um, so you don't have to compile the code and you could just uh, double click on it and install it and run it on your desktop computer. All of that and more. If uh, you're interested in a specific thing for live streaming, leave a comment and we'll try to address that. Have a great day.